warm welcome to all of you. I am Rutra Bhatia on behalf of students of 1D. Welcome all the members of Sun City family to our virtual assembly. The topic of our virtual assembly is power of words. But before we begin, let us take the blessing of the Lord. Over to my friend Laisha for the prayer. Morning everyone, I am Laisha Nechani. I request all of you to join your hands and to close your eyes for the prayer. Dear Lord, help me choose my words wisely. Help me speak life into those around me today to be a source of encouragement rather than discouragement, of hope rather than hurt and of love rather than pain. Thank you. Over to Anishka for the thought of the day. Good morning everyone. I am Anishka Jain. It's time for the thought of the day. Be careful with your words. Once they are said, they can only be forgiven, not forgotten. Thank you. Over to Anishka for the word of the week. Good morning everyone. I am Anna Bhatia. I will share the word of the week with you. The word of the week is introspection. Introspection means to look inside. It describes the act of thinking about our own actions or inner thoughts. When we examine what we do, say, think or feel and how it affects our lives and the lives of others. That's introspection. Thank you and have a nice day. Good morning everyone. I am Akshay, your news reporter for today. International news. SpaceX launches 143 satellites breaking the world record of launching 104 satellites by India. National news. India has become the fastest country in the world to give 2 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine in just 11 days. Thank you and have a nice day. Good morning everyone. My name is Ryan. Today I am going to tell you the sports news. Dream 11, Super Smash is the 16th season of the 2020 cricket tournament. Taking place in New Zealand starting in December 24th and ending on February 14th. Next season is next month. The BCCI is hoping to have it in India. Thank you. Good morning everyone. I am Shoda Gupta. Today I will share the weather forecast. The maximum temperature is 24 degrees Celsius and the minimum temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. The weather will be partly sunny and dry. No rains are expected. Spring season is about to set in when the weather shall be pleasant and sunny. Sunset today will be at 6 p.m. and sunrise tomorrow will be at 7 a.m. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you. Good morning everyone. My few words are carelessly spoken. Deep bones are often broken. Never to look the same or turn. Were it not for this critical lesson, however, would we learn? The word is a powerful thing that if not chosen carefully, sure misery it will bring. Thank you. Good morning, friends. My name is Sakir Said. And meet my friend Toso. Toso, say hello to everyone. Hello, friends. My name is Dear friends, you 
representative of grade 1B are presenting an assembly on power of words. Hope you enjoy the show. Let me take you to Lily's house. <laughs> Lily, time to get up. I can't tell mommy about this. Mommy, I am not feeling well today. I don't... My head is hurting. I don't want to go to school today. Okay, sweetie, take rest. It's time to get up, Lily. Dad, I'm not feeling well even today. My head is hurting. I don't want to go to school even today. Okay. Looks like your mother is calling. Good morning, mom. Good morning, sweetie. Are you ready to go to school? I don't want to go to school even today because my head is hurt. Dear, what is wrong with you? You always loved school. Tell me, what is the problem? Don't hide anything for Mama. Mama loves you, you know, right? I will make everything alright. So tell me, what is the problem? There is this child at school who keeps making fun of me and he makes me feel miserable. I don't want to go to this new school ever. <laughs> don't worry, I will take care of it. The mother informs the class teacher about the trauma Lily was going through. The teacher assures her that she will look into the matter and ensures that it should not be repeated in future. Children, today I want to tell you a story about Elliot, a young bunny. You all need to listen carefully. Remember, when anyone uses mean words in the story, you need to scrunch up your paper hands. That is just distributed to you all. And every time someone uses kind words, you need to smooth out your paper hands. The story, one beautiful morning, Elliot, a young bunny, joyfully wakes up and gets ready for his school all by himself. At breakfast, he proudly pours his own cereal in a bowl and tries to pick up the milk carton. It was too big for him to handle it. Pussy. May I see it? Go 
away. You are not my friend. I don't like you. I am sorry, Ava. I call your painting ugly. I was upset because I lost my colors. Let's eat food together. Oh, my food. I don't have anything to eat in the recess now. I am hungry. Fuzzy, mm. come join me for lunch. I am so sorry, Elin. I was very rude in the mummy. Can we be friends? Yes, friends. I am so sorry, dear Elliot. I hurt your feelings this morning. You are a good boy and you do so many things by your own. I am so proud of you. Please forgive me. Now children, you all smooth out your hearts that you have as much as possible and try to fix any rips with sticky tape. What happened here? Are you able to fix the wrinkles? No ma'am. I friend mine but the wrinkles are still left behind. You and I are not able to make it as smooth as before. Ma'am, how can we smooth in a wrinkled heart? Dear students, although saying sorry is the right thing to do, it still does not fix the mean word was said first. Even apologies cannot take away the wrinkles of unkindness. The feelings from the mean word are the wrinkles that will always be there. Yes, ma'am. We have understood the power of words. Here is what we learned today. Thank you, so much fun, you brighten up my day If you need me, I'll be here for you, do whatever comes our way Whatever comes our way Sad, use a con word to make them glad. Words pick them up when they're feeling down. Words can help to 
turn a frown upside down. Words have power. Words have power. Stop and think before you talk. Use kind words. Use kind words. To get your point across. Words have power. Remember that your kind words should match what you do. Kindness towards others is our number one rule. Words have power. Words have power. Stop and think before you talk. Use kind words. Use kind words. To get your point across. Words have power. Words have power. Stop and think before you talk. Use kind words. Use kind words. To get your point across. ready to go to her new school? The answer is Lily was not ready to go to her new school because she was bullied by her classmate. His mean words made her feel awful and hurt. Thank you. Good morning everyone. My second question is what did you learn from the story? We should always use kind words because our words can lift somebody up or pull them down. Our mean words can break another person's heart forever. Hence, we should be careful with our words and always think before we speak. Thank you. Over to Arnav. Dear parents, could you share any incident where you felt your words wrinkled somebody's heart? Thank you parents for being a sport. I thank you all for being a wonderful audience and a special thanks to all the parents for contributing and supporting us through these tough times. Thank you everyone and have a wonderful day. Good morning everyone. My name is Arif Paul. Please get ready for the National Anthem.